What's up guys, in this video we're going to take a look at three serious reasons to not study engineering. You want to work for yourself. This is the reason that made me consider to not study engineering, because I wanted to build a tech startup, and everything you need to know to do that can be acquired for free online. Yes, without a degree you won't have the same level of credibility, but if you want to work for yourself, then let your work speak for itself and be that credibility. If you want to independently write apps, make websites, design prosthetics, or build supercars for a living, every single skill you need to do that can be acquired for free or close to free online. And you don't have to feel like you're only getting a subpar education, because when I was studying, more often than not, the resources I found online were infinitely better than the worn out reproduced lectures given by people out of touch with modern teaching techniques and that are received at a premium price. Seriously, if you want to work for yourself, you do not need a degree, and particularly in the startup scene because you don't want to waste time getting a degree while your competitors race ahead of you. You're an inventor type. If you're someone who spends their nights inventing and who dreams of creating a new piece of technology or code, academia will do nothing but piss you off. You might think of doing your PhD so you can study cutting edge technologies with the wealth of resources a university provides. But guess what? 90% of your time will be spent writing reports, attending meetings, doing tests to prove things that you already know, and in the end, you have to give credit to other academics who did next to nothing. And the invention that you've invested years into will be the property of the university. Instead of doing a PhD, take inspiration from the actual greats of our generations, the guys and girls who soloed the creation of things that changed the world. Not people who demand that you call them doctor, and who wrote a report 30 years ago on a topic so out of touch with reality that it's beyond useless. I think most people view universities as having some kind of secret knowledge that is only available to students and which allow them to create things that are better than what a normal person can create at home, but they don't. They are as capable as you can be in your basement with a few books. You want to be at the cutting edge of a specific technology. Guys, the thing about engineering degrees is that they are largely internationally recognised, meaning that if you get a degree in Australia, you can work as an engineer anywhere. And the reason you can do this is because globally, engineering degrees are largely identical, meaning that you learn more or less the same things no matter where you study. And the reason I'm telling you this is because imagine how difficult it would be to update the degrees. You would have to contact every university around the world, have them all agree to the changes, teach the current professors the new content, notify employers that students will now be graduating with these new skills, and it's all too goddamn difficult so the degree rarely ever changes. So say if you want to learn how to build self-driving cars, develop new types of neural nets or other forms of machine learning, or anything that you see the big companies just getting their hands into, I can almost guarantee that your engineering degree will not touch on it. And the only way that you will get to study it at university is by finishing your four-year degree, getting your master's, and then doing your PhD, by which time it will no longer be at the cutting edge and you'll be years behind. Alternatively, you can get your education from brand new textbooks in that field, awesome sites like Udacity and the myriad of other free online sources, and you should remember that these companies are looking for people with these new skills and are more often than not providing all the necessary education for free. Thank you for watching guys, and I really hope I didn't sound like I was just ranting about engineering. You can expect a video soon on the three reasons why you should study it. Subscribe for more videos, and hopefully I'll see you soon.